Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Encryptor, and welcome back to another episode of Sherlock Holmes, Crime and Punishment. This episode we try to find out as much as we can about John Nelligan, and also have a lot of trouble throwing harpoons at dead pig carcasses. So, though that doesn't make sense now, but it will make sense by the end of the episode, so enjoy. May I just say, this game is absolutely awesome. If you have the opportunity to get this game, do it. It is absolutely awesome. Wait, I feel like this is not the right room. This is not the right room. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't hang out with the dead bodies. Maybe it's over here. Locked. It's locked. Uh -huh. Close the door. It's interrogation time. Uh, let's talk about the notebook, shall we? Does this notebook belong to you? Yes. But where did you find oh, it? Oh, only in the blood. Don't worry. I not, no, uh, I, I thought I'd lost it at the hotel. What do these abbreviations mean? Excellent question. No, I beg you, I can't. If I told you, it would only make things worse. Your next victims, perhaps? But I will find out eventually, Mr. Nelligan. Sea knife. The sea knife was found near Carrie's body. Tell me, Mr. Nelligan, did Mr. Carrie try to defend himself or to attack you with it? I don't know. I didn't kill anyone. Perhaps he's telling the truth. Or perhaps... Okay, I can already see Cap as one of them. Shabby Cap. Uh, where are we? Okay. Let's just, it's gotta be, like, something, 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 something. Um, probably something his hands. I, does this not look suspicious in the least? Like, look, look at his hands. Like, this, does, okay. The neck, nice. Patch. Uh, expensive fabric. Wait, there's something. Lever buttons. Wait, there's gotta be something else down here. Okay, I can't. Oh, I can't read it. It's too blurry. Um. Aha. Short sleeves. Well, I will see you soon, young man. You came to ask him Please, two let questions. Please, go. I'm innocent. Yeah, save it. Save it, pal. Wait, what is this? The lights. Yep, staying here in this very high quality, no flies. Uh, of this this high quality uh, yard, as they call it. Um, okay, let's let's put together some of the stuff here. Swift actions. This has to be. This has to be linked somehow. <laughs> the breaking attempts were made in order to recover the notebook that had been lying in a pool of the victim's blood. This proves the guilt of person of the person who made these attempts. Yeah, because if he if he really did think he lost it at the note at the hotel, then why would he be going back into to break into the the guy's house uh, to get it? Very excellent point. Oh, apparently we have another one. <laughs> slowly, slowly learning how to do this. We need to find out whether an unskilled and untrained man can use a harpoon well enough to kill by fully piercing a body. Okay. I need to stage a reconstruction. I'm sure that Watson would be happy. Yeah, to he'll he'll be the the dead guy, and we will be the guys throwing it. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Watson, forget knocking. I'm coming in. 
nothing important here. Oh, there you are. No, I did not just go in your room without knocking, okay? Don't don't accuse me of that. Why do we live why, why does Sherlock Holmes and Watson live together? Anything, Watson? Would you care to take part? Are you serious? Yes. No. But we no, need we're to not. clarify what happened on the night of Black Peter's murder. Mm -hmm. A reenactment then? Is something bothering you? Nope, not at all. The sailor's knife, Watson. Why was it on the floor? Peter Carey attempted to defend himself? It is possible. But if that is the case, then it alters many things. Like what? I don't quite... Me neither. Me and Watson are in the same boat. Tell me, my friend. What is the animal closest to man? Morphologically, I mean. Ah, I see what you're getting at, Holmes. You asked me that once before. On the Ripper case, I believe. Do you want to slit some more pig's throat? Oh, no. Shall I not? No. Thank goodness for that. Me, I, I agree. Pale one with a harpoon. Wonderful. Poor pig. Watson, let us pay a visit to our butcher friend in Whitechapel. We require the carcass of a well-fed pig. And the harpoon? One of the harpoons on the wall of Black Peter's cabin should do quite nicely. Yep, here's a supply. We're good. Wait, is there a run? Oh, that is awesome. I didn't know I could do that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This game just got even cooler. Can I go in here? No. Okay, so they do have a, a run button. Give me that. That should do. Don't move. Now. Ready for the experiment. Let's go. Well, here we are in the preparation room. I can't say that I like the smell of it much. What do you intend to do? To indulge myself in a little experiment. The challenge of lancing a pig's carcass with a heavy harpoon. A little experiment? Stand aside, Watson. This might be... Why did I need Watson? I am not well practiced in this exercise. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Holmes, you should aim for the mark in order to perform the most reliable test. Yeah, I'm, I'm smarter than you, Watson, okay? Don't don't tell me how to do this. Uh, that feels like that just made it a lot harder. Holmes, you should try to aim better and throw as hard as you Shut can. up, Watson. This is not as easy as it looks. Aim, hold breath. I'm so confused. That's not, how's that holding your breath, dude? It's like... Ah! This is so much harder than it looks. Ah, we're close. We're getting close. Ah! Hey, it did go all the way through. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what that. Holmes, I can't believe it. Did you just miss? Shut up, Watson. This isn't that big. Ah, this is so hard. Try to... That's it. This is it. This is it right here. Right here. This is it. Wait, what just happened? This is it. It, it moved. It moved. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Okay. <laughs> this is trolling me now. This is. This is the best possible result that I could get. Do you see, Watson? Throwing a harpoon and pinning a man to a wall requires either exceptional strength and training or diabolical luck. It's true. If it was luck, then it was a chance in a thousand that night. Well, yes. Let us leave now. Thank you, the harpoon. But before we go, I, I suppose I'll have to pay for all these carcasses you've happily mangled. Very well, but please. <laughs> of course. Yeah, you go ahead and pay for that. Don't worry. Let's go back to this guy. Go into, oh, wait, I can run. That's right. You talk. What am I doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Shut up. Just tell me what you did. What am I okay. doing here? I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, just... You just, you just haven't... It's your problem. You're not admitting it yet. Okay, until you admit it, you're stuck. In that chair. You're not allowed out. Lock. 
Where do I go to get his little files? That's the question. Evidence room? What's in here? Staff room. So much to do, such little time to do it in. Get in the door. Oh, <laughs> there, duh. Those are the suspect's belongings. A knife. A handkerchief. A handkerchief. A handkerchief. J H M. Uh -huh. I see engravings. From R. Dawson to my friend and partner, 1883. Oh, how cute. From R. Dawson. Who is that? To my friend. I already read this. You don't need to reread it. And partner, 1883. Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Indeed. A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter. Uh -huh. You're so smart. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. These abbreviations mean something, but what? I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're the brains here. How am I supposed to know? Get over here, John. I'm coming for you if I can just get through the door. Speak at once. The police seized this valuable ring from you. Whose is it? I didn't steal it from anyone. It has always belonged to me. Oh my good grief. This tribute to evidence that confirms the statement of a character in order to continue the investigation. Has always belonged to me. The ring's date of engraving is many years ago. You would have been a child then, hardly in any position to receive such an item from a partner. Indeed, indeed. So, Mr. Nelligan, who is the true owner of the ring? The ring is mine. Well, okay. Maybe we should rephrase that. Who did you steal it from before it was yours? Um... How am I supposed to... Eee, which one am I supposed to pick? Father's jacket. No, Mr. Nelligan. I believe that the ring had belonged ha, to... I knew father. it! Oh, but, but... But how do you know? The jacket you are wearing is made of an expensive fabric that only a man of exceptional wealth could afford. You do not seem to me to be a rich man, Mr. Nelligan. Good observation. The garment is ill-fitting. It is quite clear that it belonged to someone else. Most probably, your father. Indeed. With your father gone and taking with him the family's wealth, as a little boy you had to find yourself a manual job, and it was most probably cleaning fish. You cut your hands often while working. I can tell from the scars. I'm speechless, Mr. Holmes. It it all happened exactly as you say. Well, I mean, it just happens. I will see you soon, young man. When, uh, you know, you're, when you're a, uh, detective buff. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this, be sure to like, subscribe. Tell me what you're thinking of this game down in the comments below. Um, the next episode, we learn a lot about John Nelligan's family. You're not going to want to miss that. The next episode will be out in the next one to two days. So be sure to come back for that, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, this is Encryptor, heading out.